what's the ISA finds method? Let's take a look at one example. Here you have a differential equation, y prime is equal to x plus y. Well, in this case, you have a differential equation and it's equal to f of x and y. What we're going to do to use this method, we're going to set the derivative equal to different constants. And then it means that you are taking the function of x and y and set it equals to constant. If you go back to calculus, it means that you're trying to graph the level curves. So to use the method of isoclines, we graph the level curves of f of x and y, which is equal to the derivative of the function. So how do we graph the level pairs? Here we have f of x and y. We set it equals to different constants. For example, in this case, we have x plus y. Let us set it equal to zero, m is equal to zero. In this case, we have y equals to minus x. What are we going to do? We're going to use some dashed lines to represent y equals to negative x. x-axis and y-axis. So as you can see, since it's equal to the derivative and the derivative is equal to zero, it means that you have a collection of flat lines line segments. So on this line, y equals to negative x. You're going to have the derivative equal to m. In this case, m is equal to 0. So y prime is equal to 0. You have a set of flat lines. There you go. What if we set it equal to one? X plus five is equal to one. So y is equal to one minus X. So it means that the derivative is equal to one. It means that you have a collection, a set of increasing small line segments. They are located on this line. Y equals to one minus X. This is our line here. This is y equals to x, and this is y equals to 1 minus x. So you get some increasing lines, and the slope of the line is 1. So our line segments with slope equals to one. You can continue this process. You can plug in, for example, m to be negative one and you get x plus y equals to minus one. So in this case, we get y equals to one minus one minus x. And note that the derivative is equal to negative one. Well, in this case, you have this line here. There are parallel lines. But the line segments, those dashed small segments, they have slope negative one. It means that they are decreasing small lines. And we continue this process. It helps us to actually visualize the solution sets, the family of the solutions using ISOC lines.